The Nagas of Nagaland are always generally known as dog meat eaters. In fact, just recently, a foreign YouTuber who visited Nagaland showed videos of the local markets of Nagaland displaying various wild insects and meat, which included dog meat. Now, the big question is, is consuming and commercializing of dog meat illegal in Nagaland? To which I say is not. So does this mean all Nagas are dog meat eaters? In order to show the less seen side of Nagaland, Hornbill TV did a ground report and spoke to various people to know more about the scenario of dogs and its owners in Nagaland. Are dogs reared only to be eaten? Let us have a look at the details. Hi everyone, my name is Mabini and I'm an animal lover. This is my cat, Amanda. This is my dog, Nano. I'll be showing you my other dogs too. These are my dogs, I'll be saying their names. This is Hachi. This is Tiana. This, that one is Terralo. And the large breed dogs, this is Bella. This is Sherry and that is my handsome Bruce. I'm okay. Don't. Wait. On the bump. On the bump. Wait. Up. On the way. On the bang. Up. Oh. Sit. Speak. 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 Uh, speak. Speak. Bang. Wait. Wait. Up. These are my dogs. Her name is Miley, her name is Chloe, his name is Black, his name is Dexter, and that one is Puma. They like to eat, they love to eat vegetables and fruits. He likes to eat pedigree and chicken. He only eats pedigree. And he is a heart patient, but now he has improved. And he also eats vegetables and pedigree. This is my best friend Tilly. She's two years old. Her favorite thing to do is lick. And uh, she's a mix of a beagle plus a local. Tilly, thank you. Thank you for your kisses, Tilly. Thank you. Hornbill TV Tayarahina Veterinary uh, Health Care Center Rahina say Arumwan Ikta Bishi interesting ikta wile man itiara yere la uh doctor e jenge kota kwisharu tai pra kwaro itu ikta in a notice notice board tai pra kina zaru itu notice board temoi camera person ge request kurubo in a zoom in kwine photos kan de kabi aru yare upore my last letter to you kwine likina se itu la pictures aru message kan do kunra di she kule itu pet la owners kan bra dina se aru itu pet la owners kan do ki hoi she kule pet kan yare in a check up Kurule Ahine, Tahan Ina uh Ina Bishi Bimar Hoy Jane Muri Ja Han Laga itu photos kanase itu bilekta se mwe ekta uh puridio my uh, Mimi, Mama miss you every single day. I love you, Mama. In Aze, you know, Ekta Billy Ekta Lase, Aru Bond, Bishi Dangor Bond, Ekta Share Kralaga, Aru Ekta do Kia Sekuleto forever in our hearts, Kuina, Aru Ekta do Yere, Kuta Bimar Huine, see you on the other side, Hunter Kuina, it to do Ekta message to Kia Se, Aru to do Mwan Ki de Homonja Sekule, Naga Manukan Hulibi, Kimantahanla, it to pet Ki, Kimantahanla Kutange, Morong Grassi, to la Ekta message as Aru Yere, Kuta Laga. In a post, la print can hulibi di ne zero yare bishi lamba message can hulibi likhi ne zero yare ek taru last ek ta share kui doi doi leto rest in peace dearest Dexter our house will never be the same without you we will miss you and love you so much kui ne dia doi doi bishi ine ka intimate ek ta bond share kura laga sign ek ta zero doi doi nishna moi la pichire yare clinic the doi janta han la yare bacha ge ani ne zero aru taiki bimara se itu labi hudi sawa what is your name name Okay, so what happened to your pet? Uh, she's not been eating for some days, that's why we bought her. Okay, okay, yeah. so, so uh, you know like a very short one, what is your bond with your pet? Uh, well, we spend the whole day together and so since been, she's been sick, we came to like, take, we took her here, so I'm feeling a little sad for her. Okay, uh, okay. So, uh, can I get your name? Uh, my name is Mern. I work here. 
Okay. Uh, so I uh, said so the owner went to the uh, bathroom. Okay, okay. So uh, any idea what is wrong with uh, the uh, the owner's bed? Uh, the bed's name is Nunu. Okay. Thai uh, fever we okay. So it's been some few days now. Mm -hmm. Uh, the bed is under treatment here. Okay. Yes. Okay. Taido cooker spaniel. Oh, cooker spaniel. Uh, 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 u
<laughs> so clothes. Hey, my name is Imlison and I am the founder of First and Pass Hostel. Okay, so we're speaking about the dogs, the pet hostel right now. Yeah. How long has it been that you have been running this hostel? Uh, so we just started a few months back. That was, I think, October. Okay. Yeah, so it's very new, still very new. So, so far, how many dogs have come to stay in your hostel? Uh, about, say, 100, almost 100 clients have come to stay with us. All ever right. since we started. Most most of the time, what's the reason of the owners bringing their dogs to the hostel? So, for dogs like Metsi, this, uh, this is Metsi Nyo, she's here to stay with us for four years. Uh, her owners, they went for some urgent work and they still didn't want to give her for adoption. So, like for ex example, like Metsi's owners, they leave when they have urgent work or some people have uh, to go for emergency medical needs or they have to go for work. So, those are the reasons why they leave. Uh, their dogs with us or cats with us or s sometimes it's weddings that they have to attend yeah speaking about the response of the people the nagas especially yeah. when they hear of dog hostel what is usually their response uh it's actually pretty new in nagaland right so people are the response is very positive people love it it's like it's so cute or that's such a good initiative, no? So I've been receiving a lot of, I mean, overwhelm overwhelmingly, a lot of positive responses so far. What is your name? My name is uh, Karipo. Okay. Are you a dog lover? Of course, <laughs> I am, yes. Okay. So could you highlight to us the different personalities of dogs that comes to your hostel? Yeah, so uh, just like us, uh, all, every dog is different. So they all have different personalities. Some are very friendly, some uh, don't get along with others. And just like, uh, for example, Mitzi here, she's a, a very timid dog. So we cater and handle them accordingly. In first and post, we have seen the feed and we have seen, you know, owners bringing their pets with bags. And, yeah. You know, different kinds of stuff for their and their favorite toys also. Yeah. So could you tell us how it's like, you know, all of those scenes? <laughs> So even us, when the, I mean the dogs, especially the dogs, we have both dogs and cats as hostlers, but especially when the dogs come in with their bag, even us, we get so excited now, we want to see what's inside the bag. And when you open, like some people bring uh, all these grooming kits, uh, toothbrush, toothpaste, uh, paw wipes and toys. Some even bring chips, na? and they have tiffin also. Na? Some people, they even bring tiffin. So, like when you see all this, it, it feels so nice, like we just know how pampered and loved they are by, the, by their owners, right? So it's actually very uh, cute, we find it very cute and when we share it on the page, on our stories, people love it and they demand for more, no? they, they're asking us to share more of backstories. So I've made a highlight on Instagram also, on our Instagram page saying the backstories and people love to watch it. Would you say that all Nagas are dog meat eaters? No. First of all, uh, I'm a full-fledged dog lover. And uh, I have eight dogs and three cats at home. So you cannot generalize Naga as dog meat eater. If you want to generalize Naga or take Naga, then you can take Naga as uh, hospitable. And then uh, you can, uh, Nagas are known for brave and then um, even for kindness. So please don't take Nagas as dog meat eaters. The relationship between most dogs and the owners, how is it there? Yeah, so uh, so far we've uh, only m had uh, really loving and caring uh, owners. And they're always, uh, they, you know, treat them like their own uh, children. They're always referring to them as their my son, my daughter, like that, right? and uh, they're always asking for um, updates, pictures, videos, and some of them even want to video call them, right? Uh, and yeah, so, but although I've noticed that uh, here, a lot of owners uh, do pamper them a lot sometimes, uh, and that could lead to, you know, uh, certain issues, unwanted issues, and uh, when that happens, we always try to advise them against it, or like we try to help them 
form like uh, get a more confident thought like, has there been emotional times when we, we even see on few social medias when yeah. the owners are leaving and the yeah. pets are actually yeah, 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 yeah. being so, very emotional so yeah. could you give us more highlights on that also so there has been uh, times when the owners they're leaving their dogs for like a few weeks or months they get so emotional kandena uh, jaina or some like they don't want to part with them but they have to leave them because of their work and stuff like that so yeah, there has been emotional times for between the owners and their dogs before they leave and the dogs they they get so anxious when the owners are leaving now nah? we, we we have seen that so more on like and we we make sure we give them the best love and treatment and to make sure that, that they felt at home yeah the, so whenever this the owners bring in their pets their mm-hmm. dogs and mm-hmm. their cats would you ever for once even imagine or you know think that they might be you know like dog eaters dog meat eaters for once uh i have that thought never crossed my mind because they've never given me that impression right so i have never that thought never came to my mind because judging by the way uh they bring their dogs and like leave them behind with their bags and and belongings i don't think they'll ever be dog meat eaters never yeah. what will be your response to the people who has given the nagas the tagline of nagas the dog meat eaters mm. so of course it is partially true that there are some nagas out there who eat who take dog meat but there are also a lot a lot of animal lovers like us dog lovers like us who are who do not consume dog meat and it's not fair and not justified that they generalize all the nagas as dog meat eaters and there are also a lot of uh, our younger generations who do not take dog meat just like my colleagues have mentioned uh, we should try to spread awareness instead of hate and If you really want to help, you can uh, help uh, organizations that are like uh, SPCA, for example, or community like us that are working towards, you know, spreading awareness. North Ark Naglen is a community of animal lovers. Uh, what we do is we rescue animals, we uh, rehome. There are a lot of abandoned animals like dogs and cats being abandoned by their owners here in Naglen which we don't know of so all these abandoned dogs and cats uh, people inform us about them and then what we do is we find them their forever forever homes we find them we give them a second chance na? so we find them their forever homes through adoptions we put them on our instagram page and people they so many people come forward to adopt them but what we do is we do a thorough sc- I mean background check of everyone then we send them to their forever homes. So what Nova's Ark Naglen do is we rescue dogs, cat rescue dogs and cats and we uh, rehome them. Voice for the voiceless, home the homeless. Okay, so what are you against? What are we against? We are against cruelty of animals. Yeah, basically that would be it. We are against cruelty of animals.